Who did? There it is. <laughs> We're live. Howdy, Hi. folks. Hi, everybody. Thanks for being here. Oh, this is so exciting. We were just Good. saying we'll go on early because there are people here. Yeah. You don't, we don't need to keep you waiting. <laughs> so hi, Caroline. Hi, Cindy. Who else here? Oh, that didn't, okay, it pinned. Let's see. Cindy loves jewelry. Hi, Cindy Lou Bob. How are you? I saw you were doing a haul. I couldn't watch because I was trying to get this, my stuff up. Sorry. Hi, Carolyn. I haven't seen you for a while. I'm glad you're here. I almost had a disaster. I almost spilled a whole cup of coffee all the way across my... Oh, no. Oh, oh that makes me did. move my... I'll move my, my drink right now. <laughs> almost did you that. that. I knocked it. And thank God I'm over halfway done with it. Because if I didn't, it would have gone. <laughs> if I wasn't halfway done with it, the whole thing would have gone all across. Oh, Lord. Oh, good. <laughs> so today is just going to be like a variety show, guys. Um, I'm trying to get rid of some um, stuff. I'm going to show a bunch of costume jewelry, probably. Um, good prices, because I want to get rid of it. So I hope you're in a buy-in mood. And I'm going to have some bulk stuff. I'm going to get my scale. I'm going to let Kim start while I get my scale. Really? You don't want to start? Um, sure I can. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I just I, always get the um, My scale. Oh, it's not plugged in. Um, where's my other scale? Ooh. Okay. Well, I was playing around yesterday. I watched a video, and I I don't even know who did it. Um, oh, no. the polymer clay turtle. And I thought, I really want to try that. And I had the same cutter as she did. So I made a polymer clay turtle. It is, let's see, one, two. It's about three and a quarter inches. And uh, he has a resin glaze on him. And he's colored with mica powder. He has a textured body on the bottom. And just a design that I made up on the on the shell. He has gemstone eyes, not gemstone. My bad. I always do that. They're rhinestone. They're no, they're um beads. They're uh, check beads for his eyeballs. And then he has a little tiny mouth. But he's for sale, or I will take orders. Um, if anybody is interested, I am asking 20 for him. Spent like 12 hours on this puppy. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see me start it yesterday on our, uh, or on um, Kristen. Uh, we did uh, live crafting. I started it yesterday. I worked on it until 8.30 last night. So I finally finished it. So it takes a good long time. Um, it's hollow. So it, there's a lot of baking time in between to make sure like you bake the uh, rounded shell and then I can work with that shell for the bottom. And then I, it, it, it's a step-by-step -step thing. It's a long process, but I only have one and um, I'm asking $20 and I will take orders if anybody Wants one besides the one that I have. Oh, hold on. Where's my typer? There it is. Not in frame. I'm trying to figure out where my center is. Okay, there's my center. I have it. Purple. Twenty dollars. How big is he? And this isn't um, a pendant or anything. He's just a cute little turtle. You could make him into a pendant, guys, if you wanted. You could use one of those little eye screws. Yes, you could. And screw it into his poor little brain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or if you wanted, I could do that. Or actually, you could buy a bale that you um, use E6000 on and glue it on him, too. Well, I have those, too. Um, a bag that I could glue on the bottom. Of course, you have those. I do. I yeah. 
but I just made him as a cute little turtle. So I bet um, she makes more of them though. I am gonna make more, yeah. Um I, know. I think they're adorable and I think somewhere along the line somebody might think they are too. Oh, he'll sell. Even if yeah. he doesn't sell right now, you'll get someone to call or craft hi, with Heather. and share with Heather. Oh hi Heather. How I started was I, I was making these hearts. Um, I made these hearts to learn how to do the puffy hollow thing. Oh, that one turned out really good. Thank you. This was my last one. And this was oh, my Oh, you first know what? One. Make that into a... Do you have any of those eye screws? Oh, it has a... I put a um, thing on it. It's got it right here. Oh, that would be yeah. perfect. So I can put a ball chain on it. I just didn't yet. <gasps> oh, that'll so, be perfect. These are my latest that I've been working on. Oh, guys. Um, I have just the plain purple one. Um, these were my learning to make a puffy hollow anything. <laughs> Whatever they turned out to be, you know, that's what that's <laughs> the process I was working on so that I could do the turtle. Actually, um, I figured if I start with something like this, I can see how it reacts. And I realized that I needed to bake it once I got to that the um, rounded part, because when I put the little flower on here, it kind of pushed it in a little bit and I didn't want oh. that. So when yeah. you baked it, it helps so that you could push on it. Yeah, it made it hard. So that allowed me to put the feet, all four feet, and then the bottom on and the head all at once. Because the back, I, I wasn't pushing on it and it gives, you know, it didn't make dents and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's the whole process. So, and then you bake that and then you do your design on top. Then you bake that. Then you have to color it and you resin it. So, it, it was it's just a, a lengthy process, which is why he's, I'm asking 20 for him. Oh, thanks, Caroline. You like the hearts, too. Okay, that's my two. That's your two? Okay. Yeah. So I'm built I am building a um oh you know what, Kim? What? I can make us big and small. Oh yeah, you can. I can't because I do it on my phone, but you do it. I don't know how you do it. But yeah. I just do it. <laughs> so I did it, Kim. You're you off screen it. totally, so you can do what you need to do. <laughs> yeah, and I did dump my coffee. What do you think about that? <laughs> yes, I did. Right in okay, my guys, so These are going to go into a typical sandwich bag. It'll be um, a fifteen dollar lot plus the five dollar shipping, so twenty dollars. And we'll see how much goes in. So far, all of this will. This is okay, a necklace. Is this wearable? Not wearable craft. Um, what is it? The only one so far that had wear. Oh, I won't put it in, and then it's totally all wearable. Okay. I'll make this a different lot. Um, so this is some of it's acrylic, some of it's um, stones, and some of it is metal. It's really pretty, actually. And it is, where's that ugly? How can I lose my, oh, there it is. I got a bright <laughs> yellow one, so I wouldn't lose it. This one is 24 inches, and that one's going in the bag. I don't have my scale, but these usually run between two and um, five pounds. This one was, these are glass beads. It looks like it, it was artisan made. So that one's going in. It's a double strander. You got a cute little love bracelet. Um, these are pink, not um orange like they're coming off there's this cute bracelet i had one like that who makes that um i think this one was oh i don't know it has an a double angel wing on it i don't know yeah. who that is 
Which oh, is excuse that? my nails. My granddaughter's coming over tonight and she wanted to paint them, so I didn't do anything with them. Here's another double strand. Since these are grab bags, I'm not going to go over them real. Yeah. Stretchy, good stretchy. Oh, that's all metal and glass. This is one of those cruise bracelets. This is a beautiful acrylic and faux pearl. Look at this, guys. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. This is actually out of my collection, but I won't ever wear it because it's so tiny. Is it glass or is it acrylic? Um, I think those are acrylic. It's an old one. They mm -hmm. have replaced the, the findings. Let's see. I got, I got, I have here. That's labeled. My next bag is going to be labeled. All of them will be labeled. So I'm making sure that has a label on it too. <laughs> okay, so I have these. Oh, these are glass ones. I have a wall next to me and I'm just pulling. Those are, those are all labeled. I'm pulling labeled for some reason. Oh, here, look at th this is um, vintage. Look how tiny these women's ne necks used to be. Yeah, that's, yeah, same with the bracelets, you know? Yeah, so this is a vintage piece. Look at those beads, though. And that, that was from the 60s, early 60s. Oh, wow. Maybe that was a child's necklace. <laughs> okay, we can hope that, right? <laughs> <laughs> those beads are beautiful, though. Yes, they are. Um, look at this one. Those beads are real. They're not, a, they're not glass, I don't think. And it, ha it has a long, it's going in there. Uh, oh, oh no, I can't get rid of that one yet. Okay, here's a fun one. Look at this guy, guys. Wouldn't that be fun to wear this summer with a sundress? That is fun. Listen to it too. ASMR. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Oh, I have this long one. Because you need some long necklaces, too. <laughs> this is a long... Um, I love this necklace. I would wear this one if I was still working or if I went out in public ever. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is like 30 to 36 inches. It's got a great finding on it and it's got an end. I would say this is probably, I think it's probably from Target or um, um, a nicer, like the loft or something. Then it just lost its tag because it's a nice piece. It's not a, a chintzy Walmart piece. Here is a little strand of these. Am I getting full? What else do we need in here? I only put one bracelet in, didn't I, guys? So how about we put a few more of those in? Here is, this one is an evil eye, and it's the adjustable, so that'll fit anybody. Oh, I love this one. It has snowflakes all around it. Well, it, they don't all look like snowflakes, just this one, I guess. And then this is a vintage because you could tell by the clasp. Look at it. They're butterflies. Oh, let me see the butterflies. Look at those. Wow. I know. And look I, at that vintage clasp. Is that metal? Yeah, it's metal. I want that. I'll pay you for Okay, I will see. I, okay, that's not going in apparently, guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, butterflies, you know, I got a big thing for butterflies and especially metal ones I can use in my clay and that would oh, be Oh, yeah, awesome. I forgot you collect those. Oh, I have, I couldn't remember who collected those. I have a whole horde of stretchies. 
and they're all good stretchies. When I say a hoard, there's like 10 or 12 of them. Stretchies so are great. Mm -hmm. I'll put a couple more things in here. Oh, this is a, these are, uh, I tried to pull off a couple more that'll go in there. Here's a cute copper wood. Look at that. That was artisan made, it looks like. This is artisan made, too. Well, I think they sold these at stores, too, but they're like springs. Look at that. So I'll put those in. And then I don't really have. There's another bracelet going in. $20 wearable lot, folks. How many pieces has it been so far? Oh, I don't know. There's probably 25 or 30. And I can put my earrings over there. I'll throw in two or three earring pairs because there's a few extra spaces in there. Guys, so this is all wearable. There was only wear on a couple of the pieces. Otherwise, everything else is pristine. And the, the wear was on a couple of the vintage. And these vintage, these two vintage pieces right here. Look at those. Give you your yeah. money back if you sell. Absolutely. The, those, the, the beads on that just sparkle like crazy look at that <laughs> so anyway so that's Ooh, lot one indeed. now okay. the next lot i'm going to do this one is going to be um 25 dollars because it's all labeled the first piece i'm throwing in is a brighton there's a little b oh no hold on that's not brighton what are you it's got a I don't know. I can't read that one. Never mind. That one's not going in because I can't tell you exactly who that is. The first piece going in will be. Oh, honey. <laughs> this is Trifari. You're awful loud, baby girl. What are you doing? Yeah, you. You're awful loud. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I want you to see. Oh, okay. I can't. Um, I don't know what that says. It says Trafari. Oh yes. So that one's going in, and this it's a it's from the eighties. Or maybe did they do these necklaces in the sixties too, or fifties? No the, idea. I don't know. I know they did these before the eighties. I did not know that until I started collecting, but. It has that cool clasp on it, the fish hook. And it's totally wearable, and you can sell it to collectors. That's the first one. Oh, this is a crown trafari. And I love this piece. Look at it, guys. So you have um, ballerina pink, you have clear. Ballerina pink, um, metallic, opaque, and then clear ballerina. And then you get down to these bigger ones, and they have the gunmetal around them. And then it, it cascades to the huge ones. And I know it's coming off a little orange on my screen, but it's true ballerina pink. Is my I know how to fix this. It's coming across peachy. So a little bit of pink, a little bit of um, orange. Let me see. Yeah, it's a little, it's it's ballerina pink. So this is, okay. and then they have an opaque pink in there. Oh, there, you can see the color better down here. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, double gum, definitely. So crown safari. So that's two we have in there. Um. Oh gosh, it's been so long since I read these. This black one's Monet. Some beads. Faceted glass beads. And it does have a... Look at the ending they did on them. So this, I would guess, is from the 90s. And then I have this beautiful red. And it's the perfect red. And... Oh, good lord. 
It is. I don't know. Can you guys read that? Oh, you know what? I'm being dingling. Oh, ow! Right. I, have of, I have a loop. Why aren't I using it? <laughs> I'll tell you who it is in a second. That is. This is also a man, Monet. Look at the red on that one. Oh, it's coming off a little orange here. Let me see if. Yeah, it's coming off orange. It's a true lipstick red. And this is from the six or from the seventies, I believe. This class was invented in seventy two, I think, or seventy six. I can't ever remember the exact one, the copyright of it. So that's going in there. That's four, I think. Yeah, four. And these are all in um, collector shape. There's nothing wrong with any of those. I won't put any in here that have any problems for you. And this one, this pearl one that I'm putting in is, guys, having the loop just helps so much. This is also a Monet. Oh, I must be pulling from the Monet pile. So this is a pearl. Look at, that's the middle of it. There we go. And then it's a double strand. It goes out to that catch. It's in beautiful condition. And then it has an S hook clasp. Oh, it's a, one of the offset ones. So it hangs like this. So that's five. And I will not mail these to you this way. I couldn't do that as a collector. They will actually be individually sent. I'm guessing this is Monet because I must have pulled all the Monet hook. This is a beautiful Monet um, rope. It has that hook too, so it's from the 70s. Oh, I feel terrible putting them in my eyes. This one is a triple strand. It has gold and black. And gold is so in right now, guys. This is from the 80s. This is the Monet, and it has the Monet right there all on, the, on the clasp. And it has the triple strand. Nowhere. Okay. None of these are. Are any of you labeled? Because I'm only putting marked pieces in this one. Nope, you guys aren't. So we don't want to put you in there. So we need some more marked pieces, don't we, guys? Let's see. I think this is Premier Designs. Yep. This is a Premier Designs. I had this in my personal collection. It's a two, four, six strand. Perfect condition. I bought it, but never wore it. <laughs> I bought it right before they closed. She was, my friend was a seller. I lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think. And this would be seven. I think it's seven. It's either six or seven. And my friend was selling all her pieces out at a really reasonable rate. So I I took some of her leftover pieces off her hands. Because why should she keep them if I could have them? Is this Monet? Yes, this will be a Monet from the 70s. Somebody texted me. Does that say Monet? This says uh, something else, I think. R A I, is that right? Oh no, it says Monet. I can't read. So this is a strand of Monet. This is from the seventies again. They're white, acrylic, and gold. No, um, 
there's no wear on this. And whenever I listed my um, these pieces on eBay to sell, I didn't list these. These are from my private collection. Um, I would list limited to nowhere because um, honestly, if somebody's looking for wear, they're going to find a scratch or something. So I always put limited. So this one is Monet right there. And this one does have wear on it. Sorry, guys. Turn my phone off. There, volume down. And it does have some wear on it, the scratches, but it's still a good shape. You could still wear it and you could still sell it. The gold is still there. What I liked about this one is, oh, where to go? Look, the clasp is so hidden, you can't see it <laughs> when you're wearing it. So that one's in there. Basically, this is a Monet Trifari bag. Are you guys some Monets? I'll send mm -hmm. that to Kim. That's a butterfly. Oh, thank you. Uh-huh. Those aren't. I don't know. I messed up my... I had to move stuff around quickly the other day. So, oh, this one has a label on it. This is, is this, this is, I love this piece. This is a J. Crew. It has the J. Crew tag. And it is um, gold with um, like cream enamel pieces in it. It's very long. It's like 30 to 36 inch. Little to nowhere. I'll put that in there. Mr. Crew. Is this J. Crew too? This is the J. Crew. This one will probably sell now. This is a collector's. This isn't one of their collector Woo. things. It does have some wear on it, but all the all the pieces down here are, are there and I saw one that was in worse shape than this and it sold for like 65 bucks, which doesn't it make you wonder like what the heck? Yeah. Me personally, I would take off the chain and um I would make it, I would put a pin back across here and I would keep the J. Crew stuff with it, you know, and I would sell it as a pin. <laughs> Because I that's a beautiful brooch, I think. <laughs> but I'll put that one in there. It kind of ruins the wearable, but it's still collectible. And then I believe this is a J. Crew too. And I love this one. I have this one in silver, but I'm not selling that one. So that's the end of it. And this one does not have much wear on it. This is sellable and this is totally in style today. And I yeah, don't know if you guys know, J. Crew is no longer around. They filed for bankruptcy and closed their stores. So, this is pretty heavy. I don't know that I'm going to put anything else in there. So, like I said, this one's 25. I don't think that there's probably... Even these little beads right here, you could ask 25 for the Monet's. And that, that I would ask... 18 for the chain. So you're going to get your money back pretty quick. Right. If you're a reseller, if you're a collector and you don't have these pieces, they're hard to find pieces. I had trouble finding them. Um, when I was collecting, that's why these are still left in my collection. So I have those 20 and 25 and that is, includes the shipping. And they are, like I said, um, Little to no wear on any of them, except for the J. Crew right here. It does have wear, but it's still wearable, and they're all wearable. And this one's totally labeled or marked, signed, and this one has vintage in it. So you're getting a good deal on either one of these if you're interested. And we'll go back to Kim. So I will put us up double. I will move us, and she'll get to be big, guys. Yay. So not to put her big. There you go. <laughs> oh, those. That's my favorite color. <laughs> okay. I have 
I just put my turtle here because he looks so pretty in with that green. Yes, you have to. <laughs> um, I have bracelet and necklace sets. Well, they're not actual sets. I put them together. I married them. Um, so I'm going to go through each one and then we'll see if there's any interest in any of them. This is an acrylic necklace. It is lime green. I love it. I really do. I, I debated whether, but I wouldn't wear it. It's it's not my style. But is it um wood? It's true lime green. It's looking kind of yellowy. Yeah, but, but it's is a, it wood or plastic? No, or it's what? acrylic. It's acrylic. I love that color. Yeah. It's really a pretty color. Um, and then I have this bracelet. That is, I'm trying to show you so, so you can see the green. It has green seed beads and gold metal and uh, caramel color. Oh, that's pretty. That's a way to knock that green down is to put caramel with it. Yeah. To, um, so I, I kind of thought, okay, well, that, you know. Yeah, that's good together. And then also I have this enameled bracelet. It's gold tone inside, a little bit of wear, um, but it's enameled, the green, and it I has. Remember, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. I my chat went away. It has one black stripe and one navy blue stripe. So I thought those, you know, either or or none or. That's a good well, set. You know, they're you did good. <laughs> thank you. Then, and this is $4. $4, guys. $4, yeah. Okay. Then we have this one. And, I, you know, this is kind of my, up my alley, but it's um, too short for me. Um, it is a link chain. Love it. <laughs> with a toggle clasp. Oh, I it's marked. I didn't see anything on it, but the clasp was really nice. But it's it's a little bit longer than choker length. Um, yeah, I guess a, a measurement would help, wouldn't it? <laughs> I didn't forget that part. I don't know why, because it's always my first question. Well, how long is it? I think it's a 22, if my eyes are showing me right. Oh, 22. 22. And then I just have this really cool red enamel bracelet with it. <gasps> oh, that's a bamboo one. That's like from the 80s, guy. Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. So I have those two together. And then this one's a little bigger lot. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask um, four for this silver and in red enamel, and I'm going to ask more for this next one because there's more to it. We have a pair of time and true quality tested gold and silver tone earrings. Okay, you need to move them towards your there. They, they are hypoallergenic. They have like little coins and little silver. Oh, you're right. Carolyn said you could add a lobster clasp where the toggle end is, and then you could add an extender and make that 22 as long as you wanted. You're right. You absolutely can. Great uh, idea. Can... Somebody's thinking. Yep. Thank you. So we have that set of pretty earrings. They are I really. I love those cool. earrings. And they have a little bit of weight to them. They're not light, I have to say. They're not light. Um, I How have much is this set. What'd you say? Seven? Eight? Yeah. No, seven. We'll do seven. <gasps> that has glass beads on it. This is uh, let me see. Okay, 36 times 2 is what? 70. 70. 
72. 72. Hey, you didn't ask me to do math today. I know. I didn't I, I didn't count on myself having to do math either. <laughs> so we have 72 inches of silver uh disco ball beads and the um shell. Oh, they're shell. They're painted they, shells. Yes. They are shell. Yes. They have a this a design, a black design on I them. I don't see that necklace somewhere. Does it have a tag on it? No. There's not even a clasp. It is just an infinity. I wonder where I saw that at. Maybe Target, guys. Oh, I don't know. I don't go anywhere else with Target over the I'm, last few years. <laughs> yeah, I don't buy jewelry at the stores usually. And then to go with it, we have two enamel uh, bangles. Oh, Lordy, I'm sorry. It's been a rough week. Um, the cream colored, which I think they go very well with this. Oh yeah, that's great. That's a great summer outfit with flip flops and a, and even just like capris and a tank top. So this was the one I just kind of thought, okay. Oh, that's I, perfect. You did good putting those together. Yeah, I have these pieces. I'll put them together in one lot, and you can do with them what you want. But this is a bangle. Um. And it is a uh, copper color, maybe. Um, and it's textured, but it's very thin. And that, that makes three bracelets, a pair of earrings, and a 72-inch mother, or not mother of pearl. These are the abalone shell hinges that they use. You can see the abalone color there, actually. I don't know if that's coming across. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna do a little summer bracelet set too. That's cute. That was a good idea. Thank you. Okay, so we have this red and silver one for four. We have the green one with two bracelets and a lime green acrylic necklace. And then we have the set that is the cream and the shell and the silver with the earrings for seven. You guys, we need to get Kim a mannequin so she could like put summer clothes on him and then put her little out things on him. She would yeah. be good with that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Carolyn. 72. I was right. See, someone's doing math. <laughs> yeah, thank God somebody is. Oh, that would be a cute summer one. Okay. Okay. Any interest? No, no interest. Okay. Um, I have something else that I wanted to show you all. Yeah, let's do it. If you don't mind. We need the first icebreaker oh. sale. Come on. That's, that's really a pretty set. I and I'm those aren't my colors, the beige and the um shell necklace. They're not my no, colors. But you did a good job putting them together. They really do go together very well. <laughs> oh, yeah. That beige and bright green are great together because I wear them together. <laughs> oh, you do, huh? <laughs> well, because bright green is like my favorite color. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here I had to learn to wear it with something that would like tone it down and copper yeah. and um, beige tone it down. Black makes it like electric, so you can't do that. <laughs> Here is something Hi, that you Jen. <gasps> That's a new one. Yes, I have all, all new ones here. You guys, these are handmade by Kim. So, Hi, Jen. How are you? She won't ask enough for them, but they're worth it. <laughs> well, this one is $12. Oh, okay. And it is a little fairy. I saw um, someone ask something about, did I send a package? Yes, I sent your package, whoever that was, because they either went out yesterday or they're packed to go out today. So whoever you are, I did get packages sent out. And mine are going out tomorrow because I had He's a- waiting on boxes. <laughs> yeah, we had a hospital visit, my husband, and um, he was in for two days and it threw me all behind and then out of whack. So I'm I'm trying to get back into whack <laughs> or whatever you'd say. I'm just all out of sorts. Um, so we have a little fairy. 
Um, and she has little tiny flowers on her dress. And in the center of each flower, I put a teeny tiny metal ball. And I colored each flower. She has silver wings with um, gemstones in them, crystals. She has oh, blonde it's hair. Sold. It's sold? Yeah, to Triple J, Jen. Oh, fine. Thank you. Okay, well, I'll finish showing it to you, though. And I have <laughs> three butterflies here. One's small, medium, and large. And they are all encrusted with crystals. And they have, I put um, these beautiful blue, metallic blue beads and, uh, well, these are actually, they, they have the blue in them too, even though they're showing gold, they have gold and blue. Oh, and then like, um, like gold, like um, a half and wash half. or whatever that is. Yeah. A half, a half, half and half bead, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. But you can. You can hang it um, on the wall like this, or you can actually put a nail through the bead. That way you won't even see it. Oh, However, that's a great idea. Yeah, whichever way. Dang okay. Ola. She is really creative. This is one of my favorites, Jen. I, I, I loved making this one. This one was a lot of fun to do. I used different colors of crystals and there were wait till you see it and you look at it and you'll say oh my gosh each one of those were put in there by hand <laughs> thanks Jen oh, I was gonna... you got, are you showing anything else show something else honey okay one more hold on one second let me <sighs> yeah like I said, my packages will be going out tomorrow. And again, my apologies to everybody. Please bear with the fact that I just, it was a rough week. Well, and she's waiting for um, the USPS boxes and they are that too. a little behind. <laughs> yeah. I ordered boxes um, and, and I was supposed to get, I haven't checked the mail today, but um, I got some yesterday and didn't get the right sizes and I'm still waiting on them. Okay, here is another one that I made. This is, this one is um, also $12. This is an owl with a baby owl. And I made uh, the tree branches and the leaves and painted them. And I put it on, it's a wooden plaque. But it has... Um, crystal beads that you would hang it from. So that's How much that. Is this, one? this one's 12 also. Oh, that one is just cool. If anybody likes owls. That one is a hoot. A hoot. Yes, it's a hoot. Echo says hoo. <laughs> he did. He just said hoo. <laughs> Meredith loves owls. Well, where is she? Oh, and that's she's she. Oh, she's buying that one too. Sold. Um. Oh, you are. Oh, awesome, Jen. Thank you. Wonderful. Sorry, Jen. I had to like figure that that twelve wasn't for the above. <laughs> I saw your name come up, and I'm like, wait a minute. I'm and a little slow today, Jen. To <laughs> I'm just going to let you do that part, and I'll do it for you. I can't do two things at once, obviously. I'm an idiot. That's what I am. <laughs> what did you say? I said, I'm an idiot. Just deal with me. <laughs> <laughs> you got any more plaques, or are you done? No, I got more stuff. You could go, honey. I want you're selling. I want you to be on your roll. Okay, I have... This one is a oh my god, it's five a by four inch um, hey, buddy. peacock. And again, I will show you. This one is fifteen. Okay, and it probably should be higher once you see. But I, I'm, I'm going to charge fifteen for it. If you can see, I'm going to bring her closer and closer. 
each individual this is made out of polymer clay okay, i made out of focus for whatever reason well maybe it'll go in focus how you know how that works let me see i'm trying hold on bear with me echo heard my voice and is giving me the sexy whistle yes he is he heard your voice okay it's not going to work so i'll hold it down here where it's relatively clear okay each one of these little spaces has a um a gem uh uh crystal in it oh it does it? yeah each one of these on her whole body and she has a blue eye and three blue uh stones up here and then it's purple down here in her body and then i made these corner pieces with um green stone green crystals and she's on a purple background and then and I have, have friends that collect peacocks. This is a great birthday gift because you could mail that through the mail to them fairly easy and inexpensively. Yeah. And I put it on a gauzy ribbon with a um a purple and oh look at that hanger. hanger. That's cool. So this one's 15 because there was a lot more work in it. Like I said, every little green around the purple has a um, stone in it and every little bit through here has a stone. Okay, Jen. <laughs> she said she'd be right back. Okay. Yeah. So that one's 15. So lay it out so everybody can see it. I do see that there's a stone missing right here. I do have it. Okay. No worries. I, it, I will put it back in and move it. Oh, no, leave it the way it was. And Oh, there, you're centered. Perfect. So later, guys, if you're watching this and you are a peacock lover, um, or you know a friend that is and you want them to watch this, um, you can email Kim. Her email is up there. And um, she will um, work with them to get it sold and shipped to them. Yeah, sure will. She does a flat rate shipping like I do, the $5 up to a pound. Yes. And then, um, so it would be like $20. And that's going to ship well. She'll be able to wrap that up good because it's nice yeah. and flat. Yeah, that won't be a problem at all. So, and you can just email her. You need to send her the time stamp and tell her the purple peacock plaque. <laughs> yes. P -p -p. I, <laughs> these are one of a kind. These are these are individuals. These are things that I, I look at my supplies in front of me and I put things together and decorate them and I paint the backgrounds and I, you know, I do all that. Um, oh, just, great. Caroline, thank you. Caroline, thank you. CCC oh, thank does you. love. Awesome. Wonderful. If she comes in, then I'll show it again. Um, but yeah, everything is, this doesn't come in a kid or anything like that. It starts out with a lump of clay like this and, and ends up like this. That's just, just amazing. So everyone kind of gets an idea of what, um, what this, you know, what I sell are. Does that make Not sense? Not to tell you what you should do. <laughs> I think you should do more plaques like this because that's awesome. Yeah, it. I do. I, I agree. Um, I just so, think they're wonderful little plaques. They're perfect for... Can you put that in a bathroom if it's steamy? Yes, because okay. polymer clay is plastic. Okay. And the plastic is um, baked. It's baked, so it's hard. And you can, I, I have all kinds of stuff in my bathroom and okay. I have a because I can see I that. that I could see that in somebody's bathroom mm -hmm. or their little sitting area or something. I just think that that's just the perfect size for something like that. Yeah, it's really small. It's it's just one of those little things that you'd say, oh, look how cute. <laughs> yeah, I just that I could see and I could just see those in all different little things. Right. Okay, let me put us double. Then I could go back to me. Oh, I'm out of focus. Oh, Kim's putting out boxes next, you guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Too bad you have to watch me first. <laughs> Aren't I just not? Yeah. I'm, not I'm not a nice person. <laughs> okay. So I have a lot of three um, keychains. 
This one is a uh, glass. These are all handmade glass beads and ceramic beads. Actually, they may all be ceramic. They're all ceramic beads and they're gorgeous. So you've got the two on the bottom. This is actually from the ring to the bottom is not quite as six inches. I This is my favorite. I'm a coach girl, but I really do like this one. So there's this one. Oh, and the lot is $25, but you'll see why. Here's a coach one, and this is a valet one, you know, where you can take off your keys. Oh, it's, you're going to ask me to do this, and then I can't. Um, There, and you can hand them the valet your keys, and you can keep your house key with you. Yeah, that's, that's really super important. Super it is missing important. the key ring, the coach key ring. You can put any king ring on it, though. That's why I'm only asking 25 Because actually, this coach thing sells for um, 45 with the key ring. Without, without either key ring, it sold for 25 Don't know why. And then this is also a coach. And this is a valet one, too. You can undo these either side. Okay. And it's so cute, guys. Look, you can take them off like that. And then you can put it back on. Now I've seen these sell for twenty five. Yes. That right well, there. this alone. This is thirty eight new. Yeah, but I've seen them sell at auctions for twenty five. Oh yeah. So that's yeah. why I have the set. You're really probably buying it for that one, but I didn't make it a set for twenty five. And I love key rings. I bought them all for me, but. I don't ever change my key rings, even though I have the one I love and until it breaks. I had a Dooney and Burke one that had a duck on it, and I carried that one for probably 15 years until it fell apart. And then I had a Sopata heart, and I carried that one until, well, I carried that one for 10 or 15 years. A friend gave it to me. You'll never guess what I have on my key ring. A parrot? Nope. I'm Are telling you, you will never guess. No. Nope. What is it? Pair, a pair of blue high top tennis shoes. Okay, no, I would have never guessed that. Oh, no. <laughs> Why do you have blue high top tennis shoes? Because they're cute as heck. Okay. They're only, they're only about this long. Well, we don't have the thing on you, so we can't see that. Now oh, I have one cool. of those big O rings that you can put over your hand and wear as a bangle. That's oh, I have my keys on now. Hmm. But I did find a site that had vintage Dooney and Burke um, key key fobs, and I might buy a key ring <laughs> that matched my old one. Okay, and, replace it. and that's twenty five dollars. Oh, that may be why this is twenty five dollars. <laughs> So anyway, so if you're interested later, let me know. And honestly, if you only want those two, I probably could take that one out and just send you those two. But and I just thought it was better if the, all three were in there. Christian and the coach one does have like the coach tag. It's authentic. These are all, right. both authentic coaches. Right. Um, so who so knows up there, designs and do-overs at gmail.com. Um, if you're seeing this later or if you decide later that you want um, or interested in something that we show, um, our emails are up on the screen up there. Please yeah, feel free to email. I'm not going to sell you non-authentic. Let's see. This is $12. This is a beautiful beaded coin bag. I had one of these that had mushrooms on it, and it was in the shape of a mushroom, I think. Yeah. And I sold it on eBay. Yeah. And there were prices all over, like from 75 to 150 and they had all sold for that. So I put it up for 45 because I was like, there's no way. I mean, this is little, guys. This is five inches by three and a half, almost four inches. And um, I'm asking, what did I put on it? See, I have the prices, $12. I have the prices already on things on my board. Um, this is um, a seafoam green, a turquoise, 
a metallic y kind of green, excuse me, green, and then a navy blue metallic. Are those all? It's clean inside. It's clean. It's it's got a um it looks like taffeta or no raw silk is raw silk it looks like that on the back i doubt it's raw silk but that's that look it has you know and it's cream colored it zips it's got a kind of hard zipper but you want that so people can't get in it and it's very clean on the inside um but anyway that mushroom thing i had it up for five minutes and it sold <laughs> for 40 two or 45 dollars i should have put it up for a lot more <laughs> yeah i had no idea so since then i've been looking for little beaded things but i don't sell on ebay anymore i just do it on here but um so 12 dollars for this little guy uh and i love him i think he's adorable i would actually put a loop on here or something so I could carry it or I would hook my, um, like I carry a coach and a dooney if I switch and I would hook the little clasp to it so I could pull it out. So that's 12. I'm going to hang it back on its hook so that I, uh, stay nice and, um, organized. I won't, but I try. And then the last thing, since we're kind of doing keys is I have these that I made. And I will sell them for um, $4 each because I'm clearing them out because I want them gone. <laughs> if you want a kit to make your own, the kits are $4 each too. And you can pick what ribbon color or what. Um, wow, they're bright. They are. This one's blue, pink, and, or no, this one's purple, blue, and red. And it's not quite as bright as that showing. Let's see, maybe I can... Yeah, but that orange, right. that orange or whatever color that is, is just popping on every single one of those. Yeah, it's actually not orange. It's actually a light or almost a fuchsia, fuchsia to a red. And then I have a purple that tassel with that one. And it has a rock on it because I thought everything needed a rock. Then Wait. I have these two that have bronze. Hi, Gracie. What are you doing? This one has one of these keys on it, things to hold your key. This one has a blue tassel. There's that one. Let's see. This one has a black tassel. And that is, it's a pretty pink. It's coming off weird. This is a pink. Let's see here. Can I make it pink? It's funny because I have daylight. What is going on? Okay. I don't know. I wasn't having color problems before. I'm showing bright, bright red, but. Yeah, it's actually fuchsia pink. It's like bright pink. It's very pretty. Yeah. And then this is. Now, ironic. That's pretty close to the colors. This is pretty close to the colors. These taffeta ones. And the orange, it's more of a prettier orange than that, but it's fairly oh, close. Beautiful. But they all have like little um, suede tassels, faux suede tassels. Mm -hmm. And like I said, they're $4, and some of them have little dingo. This has a birdcage on it. Um, they're $4, or I have kits you can make your own. Because mm -hmm. I did finally find them. But... I am trying to get rid of these because they're just taking up space. Right. Wow. So that is that. Um, what, where did this come from? I'll try and sell this. This is an inlay magnesite. It's on a leather chain that has Uh, sterling findings on it. It's braided. It's 18 inches and it does have a two inch extender. And that's sterling. Can you take it out? Yeah, I can. Dang, you're demanding. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, they, I can see that it's really pretty, but there's um, glare yeah. on the bag, is all. There. 
It's really cool. I've had this a long time. Yeah, see, that's, yeah, now we can see the bail, too. I couldn't see the bail. Yeah, I've probably had this since 2002 or 2003. I used to wear it to work a lot. I just don't wear it anymore. You can put it on a sterling chain. Um, I'll sell it for 22 I don't know if it has a designer name in there or if it just says Sterling. Let's see what it says, guys. Let's investigate here. 925. Oh, it does have initials in there. I could tell you if I can read them. A. I can't really read them. They're, they're stamped so deep. It does have initials in there. Right, under the 925. I think it's A something and maybe an F or a P. Mm. There you go. Look at that. I can I can work my machine, kind of. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I can't work mine. Well, I have... This is a document camera. So it makes my life a lot easier. Yeah. That's really pretty. So... I know. I just can't figure out why no one no one bids on it. And in yeah. and for the size of it, twenty two dollars is a good price. Well, yeah, the silver just that bale alone oh, would yeah. cost you. If I 20. went to buy this bale to put on something, it would cost me like eighteen dollars, guys. Mm -hmm. Seriously, I, I, I'm, I, I'm not lying. <laughs> and I only tell you guys that stuff just so you know how much like it costs. <laughs> I don't do it to. To, for any other reason just so you know okay let's put it back on kim because she has some awesomeness oh. well, i'll turn and maybe you do i hope you know you do there you go you're full if you pull your plaque up a little bit towards where yep that way then you could see the whole plaque okay oh yeah you're too far now you don't need to go that far yeah that's good Okay. You can't so, quite see the top of the beads, but you can see the whole plaque. Gosh, that's really pretty. Okay, so this is a wood base. Um, and I put polymer clay on it and made a background. And then I cut out polymer clay butterflies and put some flowers in there and um made some stems for the flowers and I colored it all with mica powder. And then you have your little uh, crystals, and I'm not sure what kind of crystals these are, but they they look real pretty. They match the um. There's this really pretty bead with a little flower in it for the top. Oh, and this one, I mean, I'm like it. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I'm asking twelve for this one. Okay. <clears throat> for my two butterflies. Come on. There we go. Okay. I like that background that whatever that pattern is. Uh yeah, it's just um um uh, a background stamp. Yeah, I just always like that pattern for some reason. Yeah, it looks Victorian, doesn't it? Yeah, I find it pleasing to my eye. <laughs> it is very pleasing to the eye. <laughs> okay, so I have that one. I have this little butterfly box. Now, you really have to look at this. <gasps> oh, look at that. We have box. a butterfly in polymer clay and we have and then there's this? this one's 12. Okay. it's um there's glitter but it's all sealed there's no fallout if you can see there's no fallout on my hands um i stamped these little flowers all around the edge and put a gem uh uh rhinestone in each single center of each flower then down here, this is also covered in polymer clay. I I made a pattern of the butterfly's flight. 
Oh, I love doing that. And put a, a crystal in each one of those, too. Aww. How cute. Now, do you paint the inside of the box or yeah. what? Mm -hmm. Yes. This is a cardboard box that I covered in polymer clay. Oh, wow. I have some of that. Um... Oh, you know, I went online because I was going to make, well, I did make, I just haven't ever showed them, um, some um, like jewelry boxes. So I have that velour stuff. Mm hmm and it's like self-sticking. It's like contact paper, only it's that velour stuff. Right. I should send you some of those littler scraps. Yeah, that'd be fine. I, you use... could put those in the bottom of that, because a lot of them are too little for me, but they wouldn't be too little for your little boxes. No, not at all. Oh. Pass. Okay, so this is another small plaque. If you turn be, that one the other direction, you can get, no, turn it. Yeah, then it's right side up. <laughs> it's a five by seven. Um, I made each of these tiles. These are called tiles. It's polymer clay on a artist board. But I made each of these tiles. They are filled with gemstones. Or I keep I, saying gemstones. I don't know why rhinestones and crystals and jewelry findings is this one 18 yes this one is oh gosh i'm getting your pricing now you are you're doing good <laughs> these are jewelry findings these are jewelry findings this is a bead these are bugle beads <clears throat> excuse me um and then uh, this is a was a necklace that i uh restrung on here to make a hanger oh that's a good idea to reuse some of these crappy necklaces right the beads are still nice but like the findings are yucky yeah 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 um i i thought the the beads were beautiful and they look great on this this has metallic silver metallic gold metallic blue metallic rust purple um I just don't know if the light is getting it so Cindy it can loves jewelry. Are you still here? So you can see these are glass beads, they're leaves, glass leaves. Oh, they're, they're like check glass leaves. That's cool. Yeah. And see, these all have to do with the price, you know. Uh depending on how much I have into it. But you would be able to use some of my check glass beads that were like broken. I can't use them for beads anymore though. Oh, oh well, yeah. Anything you could like reuse them because I hate throwing them away, you know? Right. So. Yeah, don't throw them away. Thanks, Caroline. She said it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Yeah, maybe I'll have to I have a I used to have a pile of them. I'll have to see if I can find that pile. Okay, cool. That'd be great. Because, yeah, you would be able to still use them, even though I can't use them. Because the little chip or whatever, you could put down. Right. I only have two more things, and then I, that's all I have. Oh, that's good. I'll only do two more things then, too. Okay. You want to go? No, why don't you finish it, then I'll go. You want me to go? Okay. I have a uh, polymer clay box. Oh, oh! Look at her. She's cute. I'll have, to, I'll have to take that off. No worries. I can get that off. It's um. I think the plaque that I had scratched it, and it's oh. just I can get that off. Um, a, dolphin, a mermaid, a sea, a starfish, seashells, pearls, um, pieces of actual shell glued on there. Um, and she's swimming in the ocean. This is a button. She's a button. And then along the side, I put, uh, these. How much? Um, this one is 
we'll do 14. This has um, sequins on the side and mm. little glass cabochons here for bubbles. <gasps> That's a cute idea. Yeah. And then when you open her up inside, it's a little tight fit, but that's okay. There's an anchor. There's an anchor. We have an anchor. So the so. box doesn't float away. How cute. <laughs> yeah. That um, Where that imprint is, it looks like a seagull. Does it? <laughs> this right here. Yeah, it's, it's actually just a... Uh, line of black um but i can take that out i will take that out that's nifty i like that box so guys when you're watching later because i notice a lot of people watch us later mm -hmm. um, go ahead and email kim if you're interested in any of her boxes yeah and these are micro beads right here to make oh, I used beads. to have a bunch of those. I never knew what to do with them. <laughs> oh, I love to use micro beads um, to make bubbles coming out of the clamshell, like you know when the clam opens and closes in the aquarium, how it releases bubbles. Yeah. Um, in in you know the electronic yep. one that you have in your fish aquarium. Yep. Well, that's what I was thinking of. So I put a line of micro beads up there. Line of um, the. Mermaid has them coming out from around her where she's swimming. That's just great detail. <laughs> yeah, these are the things that may not come up on camera, but but I put that detail in it. Yeah. That's so fabulous. I love that. Um, I have something that I need to fix before I can send it out but i can still show it this is a polymer clay well it's actually a wooden box okay. but um i covered it in polymer clay and this one is 18. and what i need to fix is i i'm missing the two little screws in the back for this part right here oh, i will I it when stuff like that happens yeah i i, I didn't want to show it but i mean that's a fixable thing and it's the only thing that's wrong with it yeah so i it's not like i can't fix it you know so i have brads here on the corner brass brads oh, um yeah. I have a, this used to be an earring i believe and then i took a piece of wire and i made the trail where the butterfly flies and then i um uh, this was probably an earring also and then I did texture the background, did it with mica powders. But the whole box is covered in clay. Oh, that would be a sweet little gift for your mom. She could open it up and you can have a little gift in there for her. That's cute. Mother's Day is coming up. I display this every season, every spring I get it out. So, I mean, I do display my work. At, um, I just pack them away for the different seasons, you know. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. Like this one, I'll show you. I'm not selling it. I'm keeping it because <laughs> I do that every year. But this is um, my... I know you're not going to be able to see it all. This is my garden one that I put up every year. Oh, look at that. And I have, it's like a Victorian garden. I have the um, gardening hat. I have the tools and the glove. I have a little girl playing in the water. I have a watering can and an envelope sending out a letter. Um, I have a quill. It's actually just a feather, but a quill pen for like writing. I have an old fashioned lamp. Um, and here would be 
what you'd be writing. You know, spring's a time of love, you know, so you're writing love letters and things like that in the old days. And then I have my flowers and the butterflies um, and the music. And these are That's bees. so sweet. So I hang this every spring. So this, this is going to go up. We're supposed to get snow. As soon as we're done getting snow, I'll be hanging my things back up. Yeah, but this one's not for sale. I just wanted to show you. You like, put a lot of thought into your little things. Yeah, they're, um, they, yeah, I do. They're, they're all individually made. I have one last thing and then I'm done. Okay. Um, this one is not really polymer clay. This one's going to be $10. Okay. It's just really pretty. It's, um, I do have some polymer clay on it. Usually I cover my boxes in polymer clay. These just have a couple tiles on it. So I have, um, a polymer clay tile with the butterfly finding, and then I glued um, the bling on it. And again, I made the trail and I outlined the front of the box. And then I did the side here in uh, this kind of a bling. And then I have more of the findings here for the butterflies and I more like of the that. bling. Yeah, and then this is the the back. And then inside on the lid and on the bottom you have two butterflies. One there and one there. That's cool. So there you go. And that is everything that I have that I found. Awesome. Well, I will do my last three or four things and then we'll be done. Thanks, guys. Okay. I have <laughs> some. Oh, I'm up close. Okay, let's see. We will. There we go. So these are just like little business supply things I have. Um, I had the basket next to me, so I thought I'd pull them out. I have business or these are earring craft earring cards um you can either put three earrings on or one and you can do the um lever backs with this um so there are 10 cards in here and then there are baggies that the earrings and the card would fit into so this is 250 for the 20 pieces and i have two of those then i have five of these and these are just the 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 10 um earring cards for a dollar fifty and then i have tiny tiny one by ones of um baggies i don't think i have one out to show you these actually are more handy than you think but they're one by ones and you get 50 of them for a dollar and I, I, use have, I only have one in here but i have more of these if you're interested so you get 50 of these for a dollar. So that's the first little round. I don't know what to call them. They're it's called business supplies. Stuff. That's fine. Okay. It's easy. Like I said, this one is a complete set. You get the cards, then you can put your earrings on them, and then you can put them in baggies. So they're protected for you. So that's nice. But if you don't need the baggies and you just want um, the cards to put them on, those are $2.50. If you just want the cards, you get 10 of them. I think it's 10 for $1.50. And then um, also I have some little baggies. You get 50 of those. So those are that. And I always have this kind of business supply. So if you're ever in need of it, just holler. Because I do keep these. I, I have... Um, Oh, there, see, I had another one. I also have, um, if you're in, if you want, don't put them over there, just put them away. I, if you like um, necklace cards or bracelet cards, and then I have, I think you get 10 in there. Looks like 10. And then I have the, the baggies that you can slip them in for 10. 
and you get that for um, three dollars. I just didn't have a baggie to put them in. I'll have to yeah. find one. I have one. Believe me, I have every size baggie. <laughs> That's not a question. And then I have earring findings. These are um, just hypoallergenic. And you get 15 pairs, so that's 30 findings for $1.50. And I have two, four, I have five bags of those. So they're hypoallergenic. You get 15 pairs for $1.50. And that's a good deal. And then I have two bags with six millimeter jump rings. And I can't tell if they're open or closed. Hold on, let me see. They're open jump rings. You get a hundred of open six millimeter jump rings. And they're just the silver tone ones for um, $2. You get a hundred of them. And there's probably more like a hundred and two or a hundred and five or whatever. Right. Because I count a hundred and then... I drop a couple extra in in case I missed one or they stuck together or whatever, because I want to make sure you at least get your hundred. So I have a couple bags of those. And I always have this kind of supply too. And um, I'm working on getting um, sterling silver supplies like this for you also. And stainless steel. I have these in stainless steel too. But this is what I have in here so far. I have a um, pegboard in front of me and a pegboard next to me and I'm going to have it all filled with all my supplies in the next week or two. I'm not, I'd like to have it done over the weekend, but that I'm not going to get it done. Let's just be realistic, but it's getting done over time and I will have all my supplies there so I can um, start selling them like a real bead store, a bead and jewelry finding store, you know, right? Cause like I have, now I have the, the stainless steel wire that you string your beads on. Mm -hmm. I have tons of these now. Right. And this one, I don't know how long these are. I have to look it up. But I've been stringing with this kind and I love it. It is great. It hangs well. It's got a great drape. And these are like $3 for this. That's an awesome deal. <laughs> so I'm excited okay. about all that. Then I have all my leathers hanging here and stuff. So it's going to be fun as I get this more and more organized. It'll be like a true beat store, only on the internet. Caroline wants some jump rings, and she wants to know if you can hold them until she adds more things. Of course, Caroline. Um, the you box. Want both packages or one, Caroline? I always say your name in my head and have the whole time I've known her. I, I, I say it as Caroline. <laughs> I know I it's not. Know. And I try really hard to say Carolyn, Carolyn. <laughs> I know, but I, that's how I look at her and I say, Oh, it's Caroline. I know. I do. Cause I that's know. how I read things. So. I know. Oh, Carolyn. Okay, Carolyn. Carolyn. Um, I'll start a um, invoice for you, dear. And I'll just send it, and um, I won't put shipping on it until we're ready to ship, okay? And I'll start a baggie that says Carolyn. And when we're ready to ship, we'll ship. Does that sound good? Because I hate wasting shipping, too. I totally get you. Oh, yeah. No, nobody can afford that. I would not. I wouldn't want anybody to do that. In fact, that's why I usually don't send mine out like once every two weeks. Yeah. Because when we hold a weekly sale, one thing is going to cost as much on shipping as it is for. But if they don't buy a second time, that's fine, too. But, I mean, you know, I'd rather ship two things for the shipping. Oh, you need gold bill. also, honey. I can get you gold. Do you want um, 400 of gold, too? I'll look and see if I have that many. I will put a note down. What? I'm pretty sure I have those. Yeah, I'll just, I'll keep a bag with running 
and I'll just have you pay as we go. And then when you're ready, we'll, we'll do that. And I even have a hook I can put you on now. All right. I know it's so exciting to me. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lose things. And I'm going to have a cart next to me. That's going to be like my shipping cart. And so everything will go directly into that. And then when I'm done with my auctions, I can turn around to the table on my other side and I can weigh it, put it in the shipping and then stack it next to my door as I walk out. <laughs> no more waiting on my shipping, guys. I'm going to get better. <laughs> yeah, it takes time to get in a groove, you know. Oh, I'm just a mess, but I am trying really hard. <laughs> it just takes me time. I don't I'm not quick. Right. But once I get it, man, I'm like really organized and I'm going to plug myself shamelessly again. <laughs> I will be on Cindy Loves Jewelry on Sunday, the 17th. Mm -hmm. And um, I will have almost all my own stuff. So I will have spinner rings like this. These are the large size ones that I'm just finishing up. These go up to the size 11. I don't think I have a 12. And they start at size five and I will have them all the way up to 11. That one must be an 11. It's big, but I'll have them in all different things. So I'm going to have those. I am going to have new necklaces and pendants. I worked on those yesterday with everyone. So you can see that if people want to see that. And I will hopefully have some of my beaded jewelry too. Did you um, say Cindy loves jewelry? Oh, I did. No, it's Cindy Jewelry Nurse on the 17th. <laughs> Although if Cindy Loves Jewelry wants me on on the 18th, I would gladly go on with it. <laughs> Cindy, were you the one that asked if I had mailed out your package? I don't know if you were, but if you were, it did. It either went out yesterday or the day before. Um, I have packages today, but I don't think yours is in that lot. So it did go out, sweetheart. It's out because you had a spinner ring that was a size nine, I think. One of these. I don't think this was, I don't think it was like this one, but was yours more like this one? And you had like a size nine, I think. So, yeah. Hey, buddy. My auction buddy bears in here behind me, which is bad. Oh, you had a size eight. Okay. Yep. Because Kim had the size eight and a half that I pounded for her. And yeah. that's in her box, which has not gone out, Kim. No, 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 yeah, no. I'm just adding to her box. Yeah, we're, working, Carolyn. we're building a box for me. Yeah, I've switched from the small one to the medium size for her now. <laughs> the next size is a shoe box, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a rolling stool, but I have carpet in here. But I'm getting those um, anti-fatigue mats, I think, from Harbor and Freight. Yeah. And I think they'll. I think I'll be able to roll on those. Yeah, though they're you can't you can't function on carpet like that with a roller chair. No, it's, I hate it. But yeah, it's um, awful. I don't function well on chairs. Yeah. So, um, I'm trying to find something like today. My sciatic's doing good. How long have we been on? Oh, an hour and a half. I'm not hurting yet. Oh, Who's that's good to be with me. Gianna. I get to be on with Gianna. I am like totally excited that I get to be on with her. Totally excited. So yeah, it will be fun. Cause you know, Gianna always brings awesomeness. And I love listening to her laugh. She has one of the best laughs ever, ever, ever. Although I'll tell you what, on as far as laughs go, I must say YouTube has has given me some great ones. J Cat, that one, I, she just needs to put up a reel of her laughing because that laugh is fabulous. If you've never heard hers, just go watch one of her old videos, and her laugh um, is awesome. It's so cute. And then Gianna, Gianna's laugh is great. I can't remember who else's laugh just like makes me giggle, but there, there are five or six people who just, their laughs are just the best laughs ever. 
And that's something that YouTube has given the world. And we right. should all enjoy that. Right. <laughs> Mine is just a snort. So no one really wants to hear that. <laughs> so, but I will, I'm so glad you all came. Today is Friday. I'm picking up my granddaughter. All right. And um, from school today. And then my son is getting his brand new car this afternoon. Mm. So okay. after I pick my granddaughter up, we'll come home and wait for my son to get home from his internship. Put us and back on split screen. Huh? Put us back on split screen. Oh, thank you for telling me that. Thank you for Gosh, doing see? it. <laughs> work. Please. How about I put something in the split screen? Oh, I could yeah. put like, oh, my jewelry rock I put in. It has my jewelry on it. There we go. And it has the beautiful turtle that's for sale. And Marzina says turtle awesomely. I can't say it the way she does. Turtle, turtle. And then, oh, here, we're working on this piece. So, yeah, so I'll be on with Gianna on the 17th. If you haven't done your taxes, you either need to file for an extension or get them done by Friday the 15th. Right. Thanks. <laughs> well, I did mine. I didn't do mine yet. I, I know. just finished them. Um, Planning on this weekend sometime. Ugh, I just don't like doing taxes. These are some of the pieces I'm finishing for next week weekend's auction that we worked on yesterday. I almost have this one done, Kim. Which one? The one you like. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. So, yeah, so that's what's coming up in my life. Kim and I will be on Monday yep. crafting, crafting with us. I already have the reminder set up in place. Okay, so you can go and uh, hit the button. Yep, to remind yourself because, I mean, crafting with us is full are we doing of laughs. Are you you doing never know what you're going to get. Are we <laughs> doing it? Let's see. Oh, my gosh. When I'm talking, I have spinner rings i have spinner rings guys i have that one's not i have right here and this isn't even my main working area i have one two three four five six seven eight nine right here <laughs> so so i will have spinner rings and i and my goal is to have one in each size five through twelve nine eleven five through eleven so and they're thir they're forty dollars and that includes shipping. I need you to send me a reminder or I or I won't remember. Oh, I know you'll probably be a well. They do start a little early on the East Coast. I think it's six o'clock East Coast time. Oh it's yeah, seven o'clock East Coast time. So you will be up for part of it, and I will send you a reminder. Yeah. So, and what else do you have coming up, Kim? Besides us. That's it. Okay. Yeah, nothing else. Okay. Nothing. Often you can find Kim roaming around doing crafts on other people's channels. I do, yeah. Anybody that will let me. Because <laughs> she's doing them anyway. I'm doing them anyway. So, I, yeah, so I put my camera up. They say, hey, you want to come on? I'm like, sure, I'll come on. So it's always fun to go on someone else's channel. So look for me anywhere that you may be. Um, I go to Lisa's channel, Flipping Crazy. I'm too flipping crazy. I go on her channel and craft. Um, I go on Stacy's channel, uh, Pink Poodle, Pink Poodle Crafts. Uh, I I craft on her channel. Um, I craft on Kristen's and I craft on mine. Um, who else have I been on? I've been on a couple others. I can't remember right off the bat, but those are the ones I go on steadily. Yeah. Lisa, we do ours every Lisa. Monday. Most of the time we do our auctions on Thursday, but we were both. Yeah, and right after the auction on Thursday, we go. I go over to Lisa's and craft with her. But she didn't. She um, didn't have hers yesterday, but I'm sure she will next week. So. If you want to go watch some crafting, you can go to Lisa's channel after our auction. So we will see you guys. I'm sure I will see you throughout the tube this weekend. 
Yeah. So say hi if you see us. Remember to give us and everyone else you're watching a thumbs up. Subscribe to people's channels. It's free. You yeah. always want to hit the little bell with the little parentheses on it. That way you're told when they go online or they right. release a new video. Right. So we will see you guys later. Thanks for coming. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Oh, they saw one finger. <laughs> one finger. <laughs> uh.